you guys welcome back to another uh collection from simplicity creative group this is the know me summer collection know me is the newest brand and all the designers are like the i don't know how to explain it all the designers are like yeah makers in the sewing community okay that's just the best simplest way to say it um they don't necessarily have any like pattern designing experience but they are sewists they have been making their own clothes for a while and um, been given this opportunity to create a pattern for simplicity so these I, you know what after watching or after seeing a few of the collections now these feel the most like they're trendy yes but they're also timely I don't know, I guess because they're makers, they have their re like regular lives, you know, this isn't their whole life. And so I feel like they have a unique perspective on fashion and what people want to be making and wearing right now. So I'm kind of into the concept of no me. Um, but let's take a look at what they've got for summer. We are starting things off with this little dress. This is from the Stitch Fits. Um, it is a maxi bias cut dress with optional tiered skirt with ties through a ruched bodice with cutout detail adjustable straps and invisible side seam zipper i mean this is already combining a lot of my favorite things i love a tear and a gather i love a bias cut option i love a cutout <laughs> so this has the makings of being something that i really really love all right so and do not be dissuaded if your figure does not look like her figure. When I tell you that bias cut garments look good on every body, like I'm not kidding. And honestly, I think they look even better the curvier that you are. Um, so don't think that, you know, you can't pull off like a slim fitting dress like this. If it is cut on the bias, I'm telling you, you will look and feel fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. All right, so as they said, we've got this bodice here with this like drawstring detail with a tie and then a cutout here. Of course, the drawstrings make their own sort of tie. A true waist seam, it looks like. This hits at the, I'm guessing this is her high hip. This is just below her low hip, I think. And then a maxi. Um, you can do the tiers or you can just do one long dress. And I actually think that this is like super elegant, like prom, right? Like I'm getting wedding guests, like, like if it were like a black tie situation, this is very, very elegant. Okay, so, yep, those are those. Okay, so here's the back. We do have some nice long darts here. And looking at this now, yeah, I'm guessing that's a true waist seam. Yeah, nice long darts. No kick pleat or anything like that on the hem. Here's the back of the ruffled one, same skirt situation. This looks like a sanded satin or something that she used for this, but honestly, I could see this out of lots of different fabrics. Let's see what they recommend. Cotton blends. Yeah, I was going to suggest like um, some kind of chambray or like a, um, like a cotton and linen blend would be lovely. Um, crepe de chine silk and silky types and then voile so they're airing on the side of of silky drapey and lightweight i don't i don't know necessarily that i believe that it has to just be that i think you can definitely go into like i said some of the some of the linen types i think maybe even a gauze could possibly work um you do have to worry about the stretch on the bias of a gauze because it is cut on you know it is a bias cut skirt but you just let it hang for a little while and it does its thing and then you even it out again. Um, if I made this, I would for sure make the tiered version and it would absolutely be out of a cotton blend. But that's only because I don't really have anywhere to wear like shiny silky things. That said, some of the walls that um, like Art Gallery and Free Spirit and folks like that are doing would be beautiful. 100% cotton wall would be really, really pretty. All right, so you need an invisible zipper and then bra strap sliders and rings, I guess, for adjustable straps. This comes in sizes 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26. And then we have no bust measurements. And I was going to comment that I did feel like 
it was a little bit baggy in the bust. I get that we are using this. Oh, but I don't know that that really eliminates width from the bodice. Like if I were her, I don't know. I think I would want it like one size smaller. And that might also reduce the gaping here too. On the blue one, yeah, you can see it even more here. See how that's like kind of pulling away from her body? And I think that's just because maybe the bodice is, or maybe the whole thing's too big on her, actually. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the rules are in terms of how they make samples and what sizes they're allowed to make or adjustments they're supposed to make. I think I might have mentioned that in a previous Nomi video, but um, since she, the model is the designer, I'm not, I don't know exactly how all that works. But yeah, I kind of feel like you definitely need to be conscious of the bodice or the bust ease. Even if it's not listed here, you definitely should be checking it um, in your, like when you go to make it. But if I were to make it, I'd be using the waist probably as my finished, as like what I base my size off of. Is that true? Or my hip? Yeah, I don't know. Either way, the waist has three and a half inches of ease and the hip has through uh, two and a half inches of ease. Now it is on the bias. You have to remember that. So there is like, it stretches differently than just, it, it's ease, right? You definitely have ease, but the way that bias is cut, bias cut garments are cut. I don't know. There's like, there's like magically more ease. I don't really know how to explain it. Unless you've ever made one or worn one, you, you know what I'm talking about, but you do need it to, you do need the ease to be a little on the narrower side to really make the most out of that bias cut skirt. But the bust and the waist, yeah, you could definitely, three and a half inches for the waist does feel a little bit big. Um, you could definitely go down to two and then see what that, ha what that does to your bust as well. But really cute start. Fresh, right? That's maybe what the word I was thinking of when I first started. Like these feel like fresh. You know what I mean? Um, why are we way down here all of a sudden? Oh, are we doing PDFs and also? Yeah, okay, so those are all the PDF versions. Okay, cool, so this is pattern. Okay, here we go. So this is Alicia Grace. Uh, sleeveless multi-tier dress in two lengths, has high neck, lining, invisible back zipper. First ruffled layers are attached at the neck, under layer attached at the underarms and neckline. Okay, let me read that again, <laughs> sorry. First ruffled layers, these, are attached at the neck, and then these layers are attached at the underarms and neckline? That's not, I don't know, that needs an edit. That doesn't make any sense to me, but I guess they're just trying to explain how much fabric is used, because this does seem like quite the fabric hog. It is cool looking though, especially this version, like if you're going to Nashville, I mean, I know it's very on the nose with the hat and the boots and everything else, but it has a really cool look. Um, you've got a little like stand collar here. I love, love, love the halter. That is so in, back in trend, back in trend. That's not right. Back on trend um, from like the early 2000s. And I just think it's so flattering on so many people, especially when you have a dress that is a little bit like a line pulls away from the body, you know, like not super figure showing. Having this cut back and showing your shoulders kind of, you know, kind of makes it look like there's a feminine, beautiful body underneath all of that, you know? <clears throat> okay, here's that version. Great. Here we go again. <laughs> okay, here's the back. So this one kind of shows, I think how these tiers are sewn on, but not, not really. Yeah, still a little confusing how that's working, but nonetheless, here's another close up of the tiers. I'm guessing your zipper goes in here, maybe a little bit long in the arm side. That looks like more than two inches to me. But yeah, really pretty, really elegant. Okay. 
yeah, I mean, it looks pretty straightforward from these line drawings, but as they were trying to explain, it's, I don't know how the construction comes together, but obviously very, very lightweight drapey fabrics for this one. You just, there's no way around it. If you made it out of anything more heavyweight or more structured than what they recommend, you are going to have like a tent, three tents, four tents. Um, so charmeuse, crepe machine, double georgette, lace, plissé, silky types, obviously rayon chalet and all of that kind of stuff too. Um, there is a lining. The lining looks to be, the lining is two and three eighths and then the dress is three. So the lining is a bulk of it. I almost wonder if the lining is like, like an, almost like a slip, you know, it's like the, it's like a straight a-line dress and then all these tiers are floating on top of that i'm guessing that's probably what's happening that makes the most sense to me um 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the size range and then finished garment measurement ease wise three and a half in the bust again that feels and i'm assuming again they're basing it off of this lining piece that is straight and more fitted underneath do you guys understand because this is like flowy so you couldn't base a finished garment measurement off of that that would just the numbers would be through the roof but i'm assuming it's this straight under layer that's underneath three and a half inches there that might explain why the arm size is so low on her yeah that kind of feels like a lot to me um but not by much maybe two and a half or three is probably where i'd want to land Waist is lots of inches, obviously, because it's a line, and then hip is six and a half. That feels right. That feels right. So yeah, maybe, maybe consider depending on where you fall in the size range. If you're in between, definitely, definitely go down. Um, and then yeah, assess your ease. You could also easily just wearable muslin or make a muslin of just the lining and not any of the tiers and get your fit spot on there first and then make a version with all the tiers on it after the under layer is fitting well okay here is our first men's wear this is sins of many now he's been with nomi from the beginning and always making cool street wear so this is not a surprise for me to see him in this i have a jumpsuit out of this exact fabric so it's kind of tripping me out you know he and i should get together and go out to dinner in our matching <laughs> outfits but men's modern baseball jersey, right? How cool is that to reconsider such a classic garment? But piping, drop shoulders, hidden button closure, front pockets, also with a button closure, technical jogger pants. I don't know what technical jogger pants means. Technical fabric? With details including front waist ties, suspenders attached with button closures, seaming and top stitching elastic at cuffs and cargo pockets with zippers what a vibe okay so we have the baseball jersey right i think that's just because of this like um uh what would it be like a it's not a collar but you know what i mean this like self band i guess it's like a brand a band um and then drop shoulders okay and then there's also a seam here where there's pockets. Can you see those? And then the pants, I'm trying to see what's technical about them. I don't really understand that part. This looks like a some kind of denim to me, but you do have these like 3D patch pockets that come off the body, which is cool, with the zipper, <coughs> excuse me, patch pockets down here that look like they have, I mean, do these close by button or Velcro or what? And then the suspenders are like a whole look too. And then I don't know how they're finished on the bottom, but it doesn't look like a normal hem. There's the back. I mean, just cool, right? Like if I saw that guy on the street, I'd be like, wow, he looks great. <laughs> yeah, I think there's elastic on the bottom. But look at all of these seam details on these pants. You can't really see because it's all one color, his pants but you can really see on all the pictures how it comes together. That's so fun, so fun. Cotton blends, lightweight denim, lightweight twill, linen blends, shirtings, that's all for the top. And for the pants, 
cotton blends, nylon, polyester blends. Yeah, I don't really see why you couldn't do like a lightweight denim, a lightweight twill. I don't see why you could do some of these in the exact same. Notions, you need a bunch. So just read through these. Piping, you can make on your own if you want. You don't have to buy it. Buttons, webbing, you know. So take a look at that. It's an expensive pair of pants <laughs> because there's just so many notions that come into it. Most of it is uh, pants notions. All right, and then menswear sizing is beside me, so I'm going to skip over this whole part. I don't know anything about ease for men. I'm just kind of looking at, you know, the style of it all. Okay, next we have, I kind of hate how it keeps jumping me all the way down to the PDF versions. Oh, it's a swimsuit and cover-up. Was not expecting that. I saw this and just assumed it was a dress. This is Ironica B. Cole. Um, this is her um, new design. So she's, like I said, done a few, maybe all of the collections for Nomi as well, just like Sins of Many. But lined one-piece swimsuit has deep V neckline, halter strap, and inside shelf bra with insert pads. I mean, no reason this couldn't be a bodysuit. Wrap style cover up has wide, long sleeves, angled back seams, side seam pockets, and belt with side seam loops. Too cool. Okay, so again, one piece swimsuit, deep V neckline, shelf bra with the insert pads. All right. So a lot going on underneath this swimsuit that you may just not realize. I mean, why would you? But we also have princess seams, which are really interesting. And then this sort of like waist seam as well. Deep V, nice wide straps that tie in the back. We'll see what the back looks like too. But And then here's the, the wrap. So it wraps around you right under the underbust. You do have belt carriers for that. And she used a really pretty like lightweight crinkle something or another. I love the kind of variation of color. It feels like the sunset on the ocean, right? I'm not to get like too deep or whatever, but it's like the sunset on the ocean in the sand, you know? Okay. Um, oh, here's the back. You can kind of see a little bit of it in the window, window, in the mirrors in the back. That's a cool shot. Okay. So here's this again. Here's that. Yeah. So it's just your traditional halter top. I think it might even hook in the back and not... Um, tie right that don't there's not a tie that's like a hook and then it's you know up your like like straight across your back no scooping down no open back situation none of that yeah and then we have the back of the little wrap not much to it but she did say something about something on the back right we'll have to look at the line drawing to see that a little bit better Okay, I can see it now. Um, I can't get any closer to this one. We'll look at them again on the um, when they're really big, and I'll show you what she means by these little back insets. Okay, so swimsuit fabric for the swimsuit, or if you wanted to do it and like make a bodysuit out of it, you could absolutely do that too. Um, and you wouldn't even have to do the snap; she would just step into it. That could be really cool if you did that. Then you know, a spandex blend you know, a super, super stretchy, but good recovery, um, rib knit, something like that. A, oh, and then lined, the swimsuit is lined as well, so keep that in mind. And then for B, anything lightweight, drapey, flowy, even sheer stuff, you know, think about swimsuit cover-up. This comes in sizes 16 to 26, and then also 28 to 38 in women's sizes. And then our finished garment measurements are going to be on the envelope, womp womp. But this is what she meant, I think, by the inset. She just, how did she describe it? Angled back seams. Okay. So this is what she means here. So a lot of the shaping, you know, so you don't have just like a, like a tent that you're like swimming in. A lot of the shaping is coming in through here. So, and then here's our swimsuit. This might even just pull right over your head. There might not even be a closure on that at all. What did the, let's go back here and read the notions. I think I skipped over that anyways. So swimwear elastic and yeah, bra insert pads. There's no clasp. There's nothing back there. You just pull that over your head. I kind of love that. 
you know, I, the tying and it always catches those little hairs in the back of my, in the back of my neck. And then, um, coming undone is annoying. So I like that idea. Okay. Then we have Norris here, men's knit top and joggers. Boxy knit shirt has rib knit neckband, wide kimono style sleeves, self fabric back patch. Okay, and him with double top stitching. Dropped crotch joggers have drawstring ties, side seam pockets, and rolled cuffs. Okay, the only reason I know this is because one of the, the first or second collection that he did for, I, I'm pretty sure it was Nomi before they switched him from McCall's to Nomi or Simplicity to Nomi, he had a gray cro drop crotch short and it looked like diapers, and you guys, like, I loved it, and I said, I know that you guys are not going to agree with me, but I think these are so cool, and I want them for myself, yada, 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 and some of you agreed with me, most of you were like, yeah, no, you've lost it, but I remember this style, this design, this one is missing the little, the, the, <laughs> what made them look most like a diaper, what were these vertical seams here, this one's missing that, so it's literally just, like, just sewn. This is the only seam, I think. There's not a center front. There's not a center back. There's just side seams and this. Um, I do think the diaper ones are cooler. These are still cool. I just think it's a little bit limiting in who can pull these off, maybe. I don't... I like the, I like the other ones better. If, if I'm picking between drop crotch joggers, it's going to be the other ones. Um, but they are very, very similar. And I guess in women's wear, we have garments and patterns where just one or two seams is different, right? And we consider those completely different garments. Think about like a shirt that has a set-in sleeve versus a halter or versus a raglan. I shouldn't be as this critical of men's wear considering I let it pass in women's wear, but this does feel very, very, very similar to something we've already seen. Then again, I know I'm being a little too hard on men's wear designers because the women do it all the time. So I'm going to, I'm going to broaden my mind and I am going to accept this as a completely different design, even though it feels very, very, very similar. Okay. So now this is that also that self patch intro. I don't, I don't really know what the point of that is other than just another element to make it look cool. Here he is again. Yep. Okay. There's your little drawstring. I do love the elastic drawstring elastic. I love that even in women's wear. Yeah. And I guess he would just use that as like a nameplate. That's kind of cool, but not really so much of a design detail. I mean, you could add that to anything. Nothing. I mean, nothing is super like specific to this pattern. I, I want to say that is, in terms of street style, that little thing, though, probably is very high end. You know, that's what you're going to find on, like, the, the Gucci t-shirts and the Burberry t-shirts and stuff like that. But there we go. Again, you can see literally no seams. It's just this one and the side seams with the little pockets and a patch pocket as well. Okay, so... Stretch knits only, such as cotton knit, interlock, ITY, jersey, terry knit. Yeah, anything for your normal t-shirt. But you do have to have the rib knit for the neckline. And then for the pants, or the joggers, fleece, ponty, sweatshirt knit, and terry knit. Yeah. Wrong side of fabric will show on your cuffs. These are turned up, so you will see the underside of them. Now, could you just turn them under and do a regular hem? Yes. So... Keep that in mind too. But yeah, all you need for this is that little bit of elastic. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. What do we have next? I think that was Brittany. Wait. Wait. Okay, yes. This is Brittany J. Jones. A strappy dress with a high back and long or midi length. With high back. Uh, has close fit bodice, front slit at princess seam, 
a line skirt waist seams back waist darts side seam invisible zipper bb has crisscross back straps okay lots of maxis strappy maxis okay so we have a princess seamed bodice with a waist seam princess seamed skirt either maxi length or so somebody said something about a slit there was something about a slit in there somewhere we also have these little um, double straps or the thicker single strap. And then pretty. Yeah, there's a little slit right there in the princess seam of the skirt. I'd probably kick it up a little bit higher, but <laughs> you do you. It's really pretty in chambray. I could obviously also see it in something more dressy. I mean why not um side seam pockets back darts here are there back darts in the skirts i can't really tell um there is a little bit of puckering here hard to say i'm not getting the vibe that this is too tight and that's why it's pulling i think she had her hands in her pockets and this fabric maybe a chalet is just so lightweight and it just stretched out. I think that's probably more likely what happened. I'm not getting like tension here. I'm just getting like, it just, it just stretched out a little bit. Unfortunate, but, um, the nature of Shally. I think the only way to get around that or to prevent that would be if you put a piece of interfacing or twill tape or something in this seam here, the pocket seam to prevent that from stretching out. Um, but then obviously that makes, you know, you have to find the right balance between the, the weight of your, of your interfacing or your trimming or whatever it is and the weight of your fabric. You have to kind of play around with that a little bit to make sure then now the weight of the trimming doesn't pull it down, but some stabilizer in there would certainly help. Oh, okay. And then here's a little crisscross design. That's really beautiful. Really, really pretty. Yeah. And dang, if she didn't get like the most perfect even hem all the way around. That is so, so, so lovely. See how these are not gaping? That's what makes me think because this chambray is a little bit more sturdy. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty simple, but I mean, simple can be really beautiful. Think about like, um, well, I don't know. Is this sort of a circle skirt, I think? So you couldn't really do um, a border print, but you could definitely do, I mean, what does she recommend? I'm thinking chambray, cotton blends, crepe de chine, double knit, jersey, linen blends, modal, ponte, poplin, sateen, and scuba. Wow, dang, that really runs the gamut there. That's pretty much any mid-weight woven under the sun. I was kind of picturing like eyelet underlined, I was picturing like, I mean, even like one of those satins that um, the first girl used, Stitch Fits used, even those would be really pretty. You could really make this out of just about anything. Um, so this comes in sizes 10 to 18. Wait, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Everybody stop. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So, for the first time in Nomi history, I think, Mrs. and Women's are now one listing online. And then you have your three size options. That makes so much more sense to me. Rather than having, well, maybe it's because cause on McCall's and Simplicity, they still have them separated and they have two separate models. But why couldn't like one model be here and one model be here? I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if the rest of the brands are going to follow suit with this. Because look, it's even on the envelope this way. So I think when you go to the store, all the back of the envelopes are going to look the same as well. And then you just pick your size 10 to 18. 20 to 28 or 30 to 38. Super interesting. Okay. So, and because of that, I guess, you know, it's the lesser of two evils. We don't get the finished garment measurements on the back of the envelope because they took up space putting all the sizes. 
Ugh, I feel like, oh man, that would be a hard choice. I don't know that, I mean, thank God I'm not in charge of anything over there because I don't know that I would be able to choose between the two. Maybe they're going to give it a go and see what the response is. So if you have an opinion, you know, let it be known in a nice way um, so that, you know, they can bring us more of what most of us want. Okay, so men's convertible pants and shorts. Who is this? Donnie Q. I don't think I've ever seen Donnie Q before. Okay, men's shorts and pants that convert to shorts. So men's pants that convert to shorts using a zipper. Okay, have cargo pockets, fly front zipper, waistband with belt loops for twill tape or webbing belt with parachute buckle closure. Okay, 1,000%, I had these in middle school, maybe. These were very, very cool. Um, and, I mean, still are. I can definitely see this if you're, like, an outdoorsy person and, like, it's cool in the mornings and evenings, but in the afternoon it gets really hot. If you're, like, on a sailboat, you know, whatever the vibe is. Um, or, if you're even if you're not outdoorsy, now you have two in one. I'm all, I'm all for some convertible clothing. Um, and how cute is his little aesthetic? Donnie? Donnie? Donnie's a vibe. I am here for Donnie. I will be following him immediately. Immediately. Love this. So, yeah, it looks like belt loops. He did more of like a tactical type belt with this plastic thing, but you don't have to do that. These are so fun. Let's look at the back. Yeah, show me the back. Yeah, there's the belt loops, and then you have these um, patch pockets with flaps. Is that what it is? Or is it just top-stitched? Yeah, I think that the um, pocket bag is top-stitched down, and then you have these flaps with Velcro, it looks like. So I think these are meant to be a little bit more, like, rugged. Side seam pockets. I think the fit is great for men. Oh, look, look how they had to do the line drawing. Like, whoop, we just cut your leg off. Okay, cool. So it's convertible or the shorts, I see. Okay. Cotton blends, lightweight twill, linen blends, polyester blends, and ripstop nylon. Yeah, for sure. I think if I were a guy, I would want one of these. I think. I think kind of as a girl, I kind of want some. I don't, I don't, not really that rugged though, but you know, you never know when you need to lose a pant leg. You never know. <laughs> oh gosh, love it. All right, Donnie Q. Perfect. Okay, so now we have, oh my gosh. Okay, there's Donnie. Okay, cool. So now, oh my, you guys know I love a cute little dress. This is Duana. Duana, I think, has been doing um, Know Me since the beginning as well. So we've definitely got some familiarity amongst some of the maker, creator, designers now and can establish, like, I mean, she has a very, very specific style. I think even if her face weren't in any of these pictures, you would know that's a Duana make. Um, so that's cool. Off the shoulder, love. Button down dress, love. And top, have ruching, ruffles, Running down the sleeves. Love, love, love. Oval opening at back and skinny ties at the side seams that wrap from front to back. What? Trouser shorts have front welt pockets, front and back waist darts, and side seam zipper. Okay, what? Oval opening, skinny ties. What? Okay, this one's actually easier to see. So these are the ruffle sleeves. Okay, not exactly what I was imagining. They're a little bit like dinosaurs. <laughs> What's the dinosaur with the spiky back thing? Um, That's a little bit... I mean, look at her hair, though, with the daisies in it. Give me a break. That is so adorable. Um, but it buttons down, and then this one has kind of like a split hem. And then the dress doesn't. It has a straight hem off the shoulder it's giving like 80s because of the excess of it all 
but also like right now too it's very modern 80s 80s modern however you verbalize that oh those are the shorts let me take a look at those again so front well pockets that actually sit super low that's really interesting so the the welt pockets are actually at your low hip huh that's interesting and then here they are on the dress which on a dress that makes more sense on shorts i don't know i don't know okay so here's the oval opening in the back but you guys know what i'm about to say there's definitely boning in here how are we getting into this again how are we putting this on you just pull it over your head right yeah i think that's what happens and then something about the ties is it this the oval opening seems like a cute detail but definitely not necessary there's already a lot going on if you wanted to skip the oval and fill that in by all means yeah this tie is attached to the shirt somehow i'm not understanding how i'll read the instruct the description one more time okay skinny ties at the side seams that wrap from front to back so you wrap them around yourself like they start at the side seams and then you pull them to the front and then around to the back and then that's where you tie them okay that was just a really complicated way of explaining a very simple <laughs> design detail okay and we never saw another picture of the shorts huh okay they don't look that low we'll look at line drawings again in a second okay cotton blends linen blends shirtings for the dress cotton blends denim linen blends medium weight wovens and suitings for the shorts okay that makes sense um sure yeah okay yeah i think that about covers it medium weight wovens for the dress and top and then medium weight wovens and then some for your um shorts okay and then so, so yeah boning in here elastic keeps it kind of like on your shoulder or i guess off your shoulder bias tape maybe for the oval opening and then a has 10 buttons b has five buttons and an invisible zipper for the sh oh invisible zipper for the shorts okay right because it's not a fly front yeah i don't know i don't know about the shorts i don't know those are i guess i'm having a hard time as you can tell when i can't formulate like a cohesive se sentence about it it's because my brain is working faster than my mouth is and it's just not coming together well um I just wonder, I guess I'm wondering if you didn't wear the shorts with this specific top and you wore them with another top, like how would that work? Is it going to be fine? Probably, but visually I'm having a hard time picturing it. Uh, body measurements. Okay. Um, so oh, finished garment measurements are not going to be on here. All right. 8 to 16 and 18 to 26 on the size range of this. And let's see... I, I think what's throwing me is just the welt pockets. I think if these were side seam pockets, it would be fine. I think if these were on the back, but like higher up, it would be fine. Not that this is ugly. It's just different. And sometimes different to my brain is like, I, I can accept it. And then sometimes like my brain is just like, rejecting it's like no that makes no sense no that's that won't work it works it looks great with this top i wonder about other tops i wonder about tucking in i wonder about like if you put something in those pockets and then sat down like that's where your hip joint is so whatever's on the inside would either come out the top or it would it would hurt your body so they're functional for your hands, but I'd never put my hands in there. I'd want to put a phone in there or 
keys or something like that. And it, then once I went to get in my car, sit down, wherever I'm at, then I would be taking everything out of my pockets. So I think the practicality of it isn't great, but I also think you could just eliminate them or raise them higher. That's also very suitable. I do like this sort of like A shape of them. I don't want to say A line, but you know, kind of like the straight, not even straight. They kind of go out a little bit, you know, kind of the, it's like a wide leg short. <laughs> Does that make sense? I kind of like that. I like the length of them. Yeah. I think that this pocket's just, there's throwing me, but lots to be done to overcome that for me. Okay. Next we have this, oh gosh, I hate how it's bouncing me all around. Okay. Next we have this fun little number from the corny rainbow. I was just going to say I, this rainbow dress. And then I recognized that it was the corny rainbow and it was like rainbows on rainbows. Um, color blocked tool maxi dress. What tool maxi dress tool tools like a dollar with underlay has gathered ruffles that gradually get longer adjustable straps and back tie closure. Interesting. How in heaven's name, I cannot wait to get to the back of the envelope for this one. So spaghetti straps, you have a ruffle at the top an empire waist, and then ruffle, 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 ruffle all the way down. And the intention is that you do it in rainbow colors or ombre, something like that. This isn't reading so much like, I guess this part is reading like tool, but this is reading like something else. Oh, that's it. Okay. Um, yeah, I can definitely see anthropology vibes in this. I can see it being really, really interesting in a variety of different fabrics, not just the color blocking. Think about print blocking. Think about the size of your gingham or seersucker colors. Seersucker colors. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I think this could be really, really, really cool. What does it say? All right, suggested fabrics, lightweight tool and netting. And then there's a lining of cotton or polyester. And then interfaced. So there's a lining and then a tool overlay. And then you make tool gathers. So I think if you swap this for... I don't know what. Oh, wait, look. So it's all broken down. So you could for sure. Yeah, this is definitely for this version, but I think you could think outside of tool and rainbow colors. I think you could do like a lot of really fun stuff. You'd have to use your brain a little bit to like, you know, figure out the quantities of everything, but you could definitely, definitely do it out of a lot of really cool, fun stuff. Think outside the box with this one, guys, and I think you can come up with something really, really clever and cute. Go to Anthropology's website. Think about, like, 70s vibes, but not, like, disco 70s. Think about, like, hippy-dippy 70s, you know? Um, think about, like, handkerchief print. Think about just different things like that, and you can come up with something really, really cool. I do think that it does still have to be lightweight, um, structure, there's a little bit of give and take there, but definitely lightweight still. I wonder how heavy it gets. This is so intriguing to me. Okay. And then finished garment measurements are on here. We've got four and a quarter or something in the bust. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be very loose fitting all the way. The, they don't even have the hip. So yeah, I think that the majority of the dress is being held up by these straps and then everything else is kind of like really loose like a loose vibe now obviously she is a curvy woman and this is a not curvy dress this is a very a-line dress um so keep that in mind as well i think it works really well for pear shapes because we are so small on top and then the dress is a-line our bodies are kind of a-line so you know it kind of hides the bigger parts of us but it also sort of highlights the smaller parts of us too. I think this could be freaking fabulous. I, this is one that I'm going to remember for sure. And hopefully maybe you saw it 
I get this a lot in the comments where you're like, I looked through these and I didn't see anything that I liked. And then I heard you describe it and how you would do it. And it made me completely see it in a different way. And I hope that that's what happened to you with this one too. I know that her version is very specific, but I think we can, we can figure it out in something less specific, right? Okay. So now we have two more, maybe we have this. Mrs. Knit Dress in Two Links and Woven Pants from Butte Du Jour. Sorry, Butte J'adore. And didn't I hear recently that it's pronounced Butte? Don't laugh. I think it's not French. I think it's Butte J'adore. And all this time we've been reading it like some kind of really cool French Butte, you know, whatever. But I, I, if any of you guys follow her like well and deeply and know how to pronounce it, correct me. Let me know. Is it Butte or Butte? <laughs> Mrs. Knit Dress is available in two lengths and features extra long sleeves that gather at the wrist. Neckline is finished with self-binding. View A Dress has very high slit. View B Dress has a side slit and zipper. Fit and flare woven pants, fit and flare pants, have a high waist side seam pockets and zipper. I mean, the dress is everything. I want this in every single color. Every single, I would, I would wear this to death. Then you have the top, which is technically a top because of how high the slit is. I think that's super, super chic, especially if you were to make it in like a monochromatic look, like she's got green and white, but imagine if it were like white and beige or whatever. I think that would be really pretty. What are these shoes? I am in love with those. Those are not slippers. Those are like, you wear those out the house. <laughs> those look so comfortable. Um, okay. Anyways, and then the pants are woven, but it does look like there's a little green detail in here. Oh, that's the zipper. Okay, I probably would have made that choice, but it's cool. Yeah, and the extra long sleeve she mentioned with the little, like, ruching here, that's a really easy detail to execute. High payoff for that as well. It's simple, but I think it's really elegant. How is she doing that baby hem on this knit? I wonder if it's a rolled hem. No, it kind of looks like maybe not. I wanted to see the pants more. You guys know that I'm here for seeing all of a garment, not just like an outfit, but I want to see the garments too. Um, okay, so this is stretch knits only for the top and dress. Um, cotton ITY jersey modal ribbed and sweater for sure. I think it depends on whether you're making the dress or the top as to how thin you can go. But yeah, all of those would work. Um, and then for the pants, cotton blends, lightweight denim, lightweight wools, linen blends, and stretch wovens. Then there's a lining for the pants, but how much? Yeah, I think it's just for the pocketing and maybe, maybe the waistband and then interfacing. And then elastic for the sleeves, invisible zipper. Also for B. Oh, the dress has an invisible zipper. Wait, why? It's knit. If it's an, mm, I'm not so sure why we need an invisible zipper. Plus she never shows where it is. We never even see the back. So I don't know, but there's a zipper on that thing somewhere. All right. Uh, depending on the stretch of your fabric, you might just be able to pull that on over your head. I really don't see why you need a zipper. Okay, and then for C, invisible zipper for the side. Okay, fit, um, we have negative ease in the bust. Three thumbs up for that. We have four inches of ease in the waist. That makes perfect sense for the dress. For the pants, we have one inch of ease. Oh, that also makes sense, especially if you're using a stretch woven. And then for the hip, we have four inches of ease. And again, that makes sense. I couldn't really see the pants, but it looks like when she says fit and flare, 
it's just what we all know as flare. So I think they're pretty close fitting. Well, I don't know with four inches of ease. Well, maybe they're not as fitted as, as you may think. Is there four inches in here though? I don't know. It's really hard to tell when you can't see them at all. Ugh, so that's one of the ones where I would probably wait for someone else to make it up. Or maybe she shows in the video, you can look and see if she shows them on. I don't know. Um, but where is the zipper here? There? On the slit? Is that in it? Normally it like sticks out. But they don't have it on the pants either. I don't know where that zipper is, guys. Yeah, I don't see it marked anywhere. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, and I think, are we... Oh, wait, I skipped one. I don't know how I missed that. Okay, wait, let me... Because they have me jumping all around. Okay, let's go back. Hold on, we did those three. We did those three. Yes, we did Donnie. Duana, yep. Corny Rainbow, yes. Interesting. So... Poor little Alyssa. Is that new? Or is that the one that's all mixed in with this stuff? Yeah, I think somehow they, um, new, new, new. New. I don't know what happened. Why that? Okay, we'll go to her after we go to Erica. Okay. This is Erica Bunker. You probably know her, love her. Um... She's giving us a bodysuit and pants that's so on brand for her. She, this is a woman who rocks very, very cool sheet clothes all the time. And she is an exceptional seamstress. So I don't know if the instructions are going to um, uh, encapsulate that as well as they could. But she knows how to sew and she got some tips and tricks up her sleeve. I wonder if they'll be bringing a sew along from her. Um, that would be really interesting because I'm sure it would be full of goodies. But so far, there isn't one. So I don't know what that means. But bodysuits with deep V neckline, long contrast sleeves or sleeveless option, and snap, tip, snap tape closure. Semi-fitted high-rise pants with button front detail have flared hem slash pockets and back pockets with flaps. Okay. So bodysuit. I mean, what a cute concept, right? You have your like knit, whoops, your knit bodice, and then you can just throw on whatever sleeve you want. Um, she chose like a sheer dot. So cool. And I love the flare. Then you have your um, high rise pant. And if the fit of her pant is indicative of all uh, at all of how good she is at sewing, like you can see, right? I mean, this these, I have nothing to say about the fit. And fitting something that's really fitted across the midriff here with this many opportunities for gaping and pulling, I mean, she's a pro, an absolute pro. She's also got the little um, pressed pleat in the front, like the perfect length. I mean, these just look like a million bucks. Back flaps for the back pocketing. Yeah, nothing to say but how awesome. <laughs> how else? I wouldn't expect anything less from her, honestly. I mean, look at this angle. Boom, boom, boom. That's incredible. I wonder if those, what kind of fabric these pants are. They look satiny, but they could also be like a ponty or something. Okay, so fabrication. We are looking at stretch knits like bamboo, ITY, jersey, stretch velvet for the bodice of the top. For the sleeves, you can do chiffon, grape machine, double georgette, organza, and silky types. For the pants, cotton blends, jacquard, lightweight wool, linen blends, and twill. So Erica has a blog, and I wonder if she specifically says what fabrics she uses in her blog. Um, I think it's ericabunker.com, I think. Um, you should be able to Google her name and sewing, and it should pop up. Okay, then just your kind of usual um, 
notions here. 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24 on the size range. And our, our fitting is we've got negative ease in the bodysuit. Thank you very much. We've got zero ease in the waist on the bodysuit. Perfect. And then they, the waist for the pants, we have two inches of ease. Okay. And then for the hip of the pant, we have four and a half, three and a half inches of ease. So all of that makes perfect sense to me. Um, if you're in between sizes, that's when you start having to use like my fast fit worksheet to help figure out like where you need to be or how much seam allowance you should be using and all that jazz. But, um, but yes, yeah, those, that amount of ease seems appropriate for, for that to get achieved this specific fit. Okay. So back to Alyssa. I really don't think we've seen this one before and she's right in between Mimi's new one and the corny rainbows new one. So yeah, we're, I'm gonna, I think this is new. Now her aesthetic is very consistent as well. She makes really cute, frilly, girly, cute stuff. Um, and this baby doll dress is no exception. Short puff sleeves or wide tie straps have lined bodice bust starts, built in tool petticoat to give the skirt volume center back zipper and ruffle details on the neckline and skirt hem. Yes. Alyssa elevating with a petticoat. My goodness. Okay. So baby doll dress, which is like another word for like an empire waist, but usually shorter and fuller. Um, we've got the ruffle across the, um, top of the bodice and then elastic on the sleeves to give you this little bubble sleeve here. This one ties in bows and then they both have a ruffle hem. Those shoes, my word. I hope she didn't have to go very far in those shoes. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Um, yeah. I mean, your classic quintessential baby doll dress. Is it just me? Or are we doing something to these photos that make them look... Yeah. I get that they're taking them on their own, but like, I don't know. The... Maybe we can be doing something else. Cute, sweet, right? I mean, it is technically still like a fit and flare situation, but <gasps> the hair bow, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's adorable. Okay, we've got a center back zipper and just more, more ruffles and frills. What can I say? Of course, you have to do the twirly photo. Yeah, girly and sweet for sure. Cotton blends, cotton lawn, gauze, gingham, poplin, seersucker, silk, silky types, and viscose. Viscose is a brand name of rayon. Yeah, viscose, but I don't know that, well, there is that petticoat, so you'd need tool for that. So maybe you can use a lighter weight fabric and then the petticoat does all the work. Interesting. Um, and then it's lined, but the lining fully lined oh is that necessary i guess with the petticoat it probably is the petticoat go between the lining and the outer no i'm just trying to think what the most comfortable thing would be and i get a lined bodice but the lined skirt and bodice and petticoat feels a little less summery to me that's starting to feel a little bit hot a little bit sweaty, <laughs> um, but invisible zipper, bias tape, and elastic. Okay, six to six, ooh, six to fourteen, and then sixteen to twenty-four on the size range, and then we've got three and a half in inches of positive ease in the bust. That feels like more than what she's got. Hers does not. Hers is more like two. Um, so keep that in mind. You don't want it to be too baggy. I mean, hers fits great, but you can see this is, this is tight. There's not a lot of ease in there at all. Um, so depending on your fabric, if your fabric has any stretch to it, like a cotton sateen would be really beautiful. That has a little bit of stretch in it. So you could get away with less, uh, ease, but yeah, super cute. And I think that that, I'm glad I didn't miss that one. I think that that brings us to the end of Know Me Summer. I'm just gonna quickly go through. Yeah, this was all 
last season. Okay, great. So that's Know Me Summer. What do you guys think? I mean, this this collection, more than any of them, always brings such a variety because you have so many individual minds, so many different creative places to come from. And when you bring it all together, like, you know, there's not just one person, one creative behind this whole collection. So you do get a wide variety. I can definitely see how it would be a polarizing type of pattern company. You love some, you hate some, you know, whatever, whatever. But, um, you know, maybe you're finding new designers, new people to follow. I know I did this time. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you're going to be picking up any of them, let me know which ones. And I don't know, just, just meet me in the comments. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me today. I will be back very soon. See y'all then. Bye.